It's a beautiful spring day and we're gathered here on a field north of our school to share with you some things that our Board of Trustees talked about as they gathered in this very place recently. We'd like to talk to you a little bit about respecting the past, honoring the present, and creating our future. Exactly 20 years ago, one of our most visionary board members, Gaylord Swim, walked across the field where our current school stands. And he talked about a dream that the Andersons had. He was talking about Verlin and Shirley Anderson, who understood that there needed to be a school that would be a place where the Spirit of the Lord and the light of Christ would be in the classrooms, in the books, in the culture. And so American Heritage School was created in 1969. Well, here we are, almost 50 years later, and that dream needs to continue. Our generation has a job. We have a work to do. And that's why we've gathered on this field, this good ground that has been purchased and acquired through donations small and large to continue that dream. Of course, that dream that the Andersons had, that the Swims had, that so many of our board members through the years have had, is not unique to them. Many good men and women, many parents of children have had this same dream. In fact, in 1875, Brigham Young and Carl Mazur had that dream. That's where BY Academy and BYU came from. And even before them, prophets and parents wanting for their children this kind of education, where the Spirit of the Lord is in everything that we teach, everything that we do, in the alphabet, in the times tables, in our history books. We are excited to announce to you today the expansion of American Heritage School on this beautiful parcel of land, nearly 30 acres, that has been donated at great sacrifice by families in our school community who understand this dream, who have caught this vision, and who understand that we have work to do in continuing that dream. And so we now have the opportunity, the exciting opportunity, to announce to you our campus expansion. There are three phases to our campus expansion. Phase one includes outdoor athletic facilities as well as indoor facilities for health, wellness, physical education, and other athletic programs. Phase two includes a major expansion of our curricular classrooms as well as common areas for our students. And phase three includes a world-class performing arts center. This is good ground. On May 9th, Tuesday, May 9th at 11.30 a.m., we are going to hold a groundbreaking ceremony and celebration. It won't just be about buildings and campus expansion. In fact, more importantly, our groundbreaking celebration will be about people. Board members, teachers, students, parents, so many others who see this dream, who have seen this dream through the years, and who will be a part of this work and this vision going forward. After May 9, the work will begin. You'll see earth moving equipment here. We'll see contractors, construction workers. And this summer, in time for school to start this fall of 2017, we will have completed our outdoor athletic facilities. By next summer of 2018, we will have completed our indoor athletic and physical education spaces. This is exciting. We have great work to do. We hope you'll join us. Bless you all for your support of this vision.